This is the Conservative Czar, uh, November 9th, 2012. I want to start now a, a little process of going through what's going to happen here in the next uh, eight weeks, uh, six to eight weeks, uh, as we, we face these huge economic problems, this fiscal cliff that they're talking about, which, which is real. Now, Ron Paul makes this beautiful point. He said, no, wait, wait, there's, no, there's a fiscal cliff, but, but we're already over the cliff. You know, we're on our way down. We're just trying to figure out how we're going to land. Uh, and Paul is, uh, I've, I've, gained, I've, I've, I've gained more respect for Ron Paul as I have opposed him and I've been wrong. And as he is, you know, his wisdom uh, comes through more and more and how much he was right. I was wrong and, and uh, the whole country, except for the followers of him, were wrong. But I want to concentrate on what this, what's going to happen here, because we got to understand the characters that, that we're involved in. On economic matters, on, uh, on political matters, John Boehner is, at his heart, a moderate compromiser. He is going to, he, he it, and, and if you read the Woodward book about the budget negotiations of last year, Boehner was willing to raise taxes from the get-go. Uh, it, this is in his nature. He wanted to cut a deal. It was the president of the United States that wouldn't cut the deal. Boehner would have cut all sorts of deals. Boehner, if he if he was by himself, and I add Eric Cantor to this, where they're both moderate Republicans. Uh, they they both are compromisers, uh, and they will compromise and they will raise taxes if they had their own way. They would do it. If they had their own way, they would have done it last year. The nature of Bain or compromising, we are going to have tax increases. Uh, there, there's no question. Now, Boehner, God, these people are, they're just beautiful people. Uh, of course, Boehner, we're not going to have tax increases. He keeps saying, I'm not going to have tax increases. I'm, I won't have tax. We'll have revenue increases. We will, we will change the tax code. And oh, oh, you know, by, by chance, taxes will go up. But I'm not going to raise taxes. And we're going to raise taxes. They're going to violate their oath. They all signed the oath not to raise taxes. They're going to violate it. They are, they're, they're, uh, they're going to lie to us about what happens. To the extent of the compromise, I don't know. The issues are enormous. Uh, enormous issues. Uh, we have the Bush tax cuts expiring. Uh, and and that that's... A huge tax increase. If nothing is done, that's what's going to happen. We we have the payroll tax running out. The Democrats cut middle class tax rates by eliminating, on a temporary basis, uh, payroll taxes. Uh, and so all the middle class working people have had this advantage over the last year of their taxes reduced. Those taxes are, are set to go up. Uh, we, we have uh, the mandates that people forget because we had, people forget about the mandates in Obamacare. Why? We had a candidate for president who just didn't mention it. Uh, that's why. Uh, but we forgot about that. Mandates kick in. Okay. Uh, there are other couple of other issues. And on top of all of this, the debt ceiling limit hits in the next 6, 8, 12 weeks. What that means is that as of a particular date, the United States government cannot borrow money anymore. And since we're funding the government, one third of the government with borrowing, that means that one third of the government has to shut down. Now, what can be done about it? One thing that can be done is for, and this is very radical, but it can be done is for conservatives to say, for Boehner and the conservatives, members of the House of Representatives, to say they're in the majority, they have a cohesive caucus, they can actually say, We're, we are going to pass a bill continuing the Bush tax cuts. We're, that's what we're going to do. You're, you're going to veto it, the Senate's not going to pass it, but we're going to. What happens if we didn't do anything? Let's take a look at it. We have tax increase on the middle class through the payroll tax and the Bush tax cuts. Tax cuts. They would all go up. We'd have a tax. 
We shut down the government. We say, no, we're not going to increase the debt ceiling. And we mean it. You can't do anything about it. No one, no, nobody else can do anything about it. We, we're, we're the only ones, the House of Representatives, the only one that can raise the debt ceiling. We're not going to do it. You cut the government. And wherever you cut it, that's fine. I don't care where you cut it, you cut it. We're not going to go through this travesty. We give, we, the tax increases are going in. We, we, you know, we, we, your mandates are coming in. We're not going to fund this government. Now, as a radical proposal, the radical idea, Boehner would, 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 would collapse in a faint at the idea of that. But that's the backdrop. That's what we can be saying right now. We can be saying, okay, we're not going to fund the government. You people, you, the President of the United States isn't going to cut spending. The Senate's not going to cut spending. But we conservatives in the House of Representatives are going to cut spending. We're, going to, we're not going to approve the debt ceiling. What would happen if we did that? What would, we, what would happen if Boehner, Cantor, Ryan, not, none of them are going to do this. They, they, they have, they, of the three of them, none of them have a backbone. But if they did do that, if they did that instead of on day one after the election saying, well, we'll consider tax increases. Now, Boehner's back, backtracked on that, but he meant what he said. What would happen if we took the opposite tack? I'll tell you what would happen. Panic. We would, they would be attacked from everybody. Everybody would say the world is going to end. The stock market would decline. The Europe would be, it would be, it would be a wonderful catastrophe. But I'll tell you, what's the second thing that's going to happen? Well, first of all, the second thing is you got to convince the president and the Senate that you're serious. So you're going to, you're going to have to say it and live with it for a while. So the second thing that has to happen is you have to convince them that this is not a bluff. And what would they do? Now, the, the furor would be tremendous. They, they'd be threatening. There would be recalls, impeachment. But none of that could come into play before we shut down the government. And I should say, shut down a third of the government. Okay? I'll tell you one place it would save, by the way. It will save us get losing any more lives in Afghanistan. If we pulled out of Afghanistan now and not wait till this artificial deadline, that, that's another story. But, but what would happen if Boehner, Cantor, and Ryan did it? Their sacred cow, the federal government, is about to be stripped of its power and money. Who do you think would cave? Who do you think would cave? The president would cave. The Senate would cave. And we would have a compromise on our terms. It would take courage, guts, and none of these guys have it. Uh, what I've described here is a fantasy. But this, and we're going to have a lot of discussion about these next six to eight weeks, because boy, are they big. This is the conservative czar. See you next time.